a bit. No warning at all from his position that he was going to deflect the ball in that direction. Beautiful shot. That's out. Another tie break, he thinks. And this third set's going to be resolved as the second set was by a tie break. He won that tie break, did Pialin, by eight points to six on his second set point when Curtin got foot faulted again. what happened in the second point of the other tie break curtain immediately got broken <laughs> that game of nothing balls from Pialini, five, six minutes ago, could just have lost Kurt in his rhythm. Wonderfully KG point by Pialin, struck at just the right moment. This is his best spell. That was the longest point, the most intelligent point, backhand to backhand, then forehand to forehand, then changing the pattern. And eventually, after a magnificent shot into the corner, Pialin risked going forward and volleying almost from mid-court, but closing in. That really was a point and a half. one peeled in.
They've grappled their way through a week and a half of this, I think, most testing of all the Grand Slam championships in terms of the traffic, all the difficulties, the noise, the aeroplanes. And here on the second Thursday, you can see fatigue. So it's going to be not just who hits the ball the nicest, but who's got the mental resolve. gives him 5-2. Yeah, one fact you didn't mention also, Jerry, has been the wind that uh, has been in constant. Uh, every day we've had a very tricky wind, sometimes a very, very tricky wind swirling around this huge stadium. Not today, it's fine. Just one point now, separation, that's 5-4. Yeah. But Cedric Pierlin now, with two points to go to the winning post in this set, has got two serves left, so in theory he could do it with these two. close on that and at 6-4 he has two set points to take a lead of two sets to one was a terrific return which really cleared the court for the final shot by Curtin. Two set points saved one way or another, that was bizarre. Well, Pillian sometimes comes over the ball so much that uh, that sort of thing is liable to happen when you're trying to put a huge amount of topspin on. I mean, Borg used to hit with enormous topspin, used to very often miss hit a ball. And it's now very cloudy overhead. I don't think rain threatened at the moment, but it it could be looking like that for later on. Six points all. Third set tie break. at it then, softly, softly stuff. And the sounds of rejoicing up there denotes the fact that having saved two set points, Curtin now has a set point. Well, Peeling in that point was con um, changing from slice and soft to suddenly whipping and topspin. 
Not always that easy. Set point curtain. Julian risked a lot by this very slow serve, admittedly very wide, but it got rid of Curtin out of court and made the volley fairly academic. Two hours and a quarter, and surely the match hinges on this, or just about here. It's a good serve, gives him his third set point. Yeah, the pass, was the pass in? Was the pass in? I think it was. I think. Yeah, it, it, the pass was clearly yes. in there telling us. Well, we couldn't line, hear, judges. I couldn't no, hear, no, they no. couldn't hear. Can't hear anything. I think Curtin, uh, oh, well in. I think Curtin uh, was actually screaming thanks to that aeroplane. <laughs> Not sure what Fieldine had to say. You'd be livid. Yet another point with the aircraft overhead, he's lost. Oh, that was a magnificent point, that really was. And Peeling really deserves this. It will be his fourth chance to win this tiebreak in the set. Oh, it's a good thing he's six foot two or three, Pierlin. It is so difficult. His back was absolutely pointing at the net when he played it. I always feel it's a bit of a lottery, that shot, but you either do play it well, usually, or not. And that was just a brilliant, brilliant shot. And it could well bring in the set. Well, you know, you go for those, and if you get them, people say how bold you were. And he didn't get it. He was unlucky because it hit the tape. Not as easy as... Uh, it really isn't as easy as you think, that sort of shot. It may be fairly close to the net, but, uh, you know, if you just take your eye off the ball for a second, you can make the error. 